I say on streets. On streets. Say on streets. On and made it. Right. Made it. Whose streets? On streets. Time after you. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuned into another episode of Ends Podcast. Man, oh man, I appreciate being able to have y'all in for another episode. Today, man, we're going to be talking about your boy Nick Cannon and how Viacom CBS just recently just let him go over some controversial statements that he said on his own podcast on his platform which didn't really sit too well with them and their organization that they felt they needed to make a cut from its own show, the community franchise, while and out. But also from other um, other uh, uh, shows that he was also, you know, uh, executive director and directing as well um, on Nickelodeon or Nick Teen. Um, but Fox, Fox said that they're standing behind him. Now, going a little bit more into the whole situation, it kind of been, you feel me, trending news for um, for basically, uh, it's just been the trending news for like the last few days uh, since the recent comments had surfaced about how they felt about um, basically his response to, well, not his response, but his statement. And since then, them releasing a response saying that he did not want to apologize at first. And because of him and I apologizing, it costed him um, basically his job, his company, the brand that he didn't build. Now, before that, I didn't actually know uh, what type of deal or structure he had with Wildin' Out. Um, but, you know, he was hosting, you know, he hosted shows like... America Got Talent, Limp Sync, Battle Shorties, The Mass Singer, you know, so when it came down to uh, those type of ventures, shoot, I thought that he had the rights to uh, Wildin' Out, but I guess he didn't exactly have full rights, rights to Wildin' Out, and Wildin' Out was actually owned by Viacom, uh, CBS, which is basically a... a, a, a a holding company or basically a, a corporation that basically is a conglomerate of a whole bunch of other media companies in their portfolio, like VH1, um, MTV, uh, things of that nature. Um, man, but it's crazy. Uh, since then, uh, he had... a. Uh, the immediate removal, you feel me there, the immediate removal of the show from the VH1 schedule, you feel me, like, so the show was on VH1, but ever since it, it, it happened, uh, basically, Viacom fired him, terminating a contract, because of what he was saying, they, they said he promoted hate speech, and anti-Semitism, uh, and basically, that went against, you know, just referring to Jews and white people uh, as a race, and that basically, like they said, that led today, uh, basically removing him from, uh, like basically that led to the removal of the TV show from the VH1 schedules and officially by like the whole network. Um, so it's 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 crazy, man. They say um, Diddy reach, recently reached out to him. You feel me? Offering him a deal with Revolt. Um, but as y'all know, man. Um, Nick Cannon has been a very outspoken activist, 
Uh, when I was in Minneapolis uh, recently, right now I'm in Detroit right now, but you know, a couple weeks ago I was in Minneapolis. I know he was in Minneapolis. He ended up shooting a video. Uh, he stood out there with the protesters about the George Floyd killing. Um, and he been really standing behind, uh, just really just standing behind just the community, uh, black culture as a whole. And he has really been a leader and like in his own right in the entrepreneur sense when it comes down to uh, creating the lane for uh, this new age comedy. Uh, you feel me? Social media, like the social media president, uh, uh, presence and stuff like that. The brand that he built with Wild and Out alone, they said his estimate is estimated to be over a billion, well, like close to up to a billion dollars, over a billion dollars. Um, but just knowing just the time that he put into building Wild and Out and building that brand up and the work that Nick Cannon been putting in just in a, on the entertainment side and just with Hollywood. Um, it was crazy that they let him go so easy. Uh, but I know on social media, uh, it was other people saying that uh, other white um, counterparts that were that is in this industry, they were let go for saying racist remarks when it came down to black people. So so some people are feeling that he or again is just dudes. But honestly, um, for what you spoke out about, and things of that nature, man. It's Nick Cannon. I'm riding with him. He, he from the culture for the culture. I'm riding with him. Um, not saying that I'm, you know, I'm not promoting hatred or anything, nothing like that. But it's just more so saying that um, basically that they demanded an apology f uh, from him, and because him not doing the apology, he got fired. Um, So now it's so so now it's kind of like it's in the airs, but now you starting to see more people starting to speak out about it. Uh, they also saying that you know Nick Cannon did in fact try to apologize, but I don't think that this that like that like I feel like that like it's kind of like too late now. You feel me? Um, and now that it's too late. It's basically, man, it's, it's creating a, like an uproar because some people feel like he shouldn't went out his way, that he should have just stood on with what he said and just basically, uh, and basically just, um, just stood behind what he said because he got individuals that's, uh, that's supporting him and even offer him, um, alternative routes, um, but then it also been rumored, you know, on social media that he called out for full, uh, you know, full ownership of Wild and Out. So he can't be able to make those executive business moves with the show that, you know, he basically was the face of and pioneered. Um, but I don't know where that is, where they are at with those negotiations. Um, but... I know that he does have a contract or some type of dealing with Viacom if he is making them type of allegations. I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all think that he deserved? I mean, not deserved, because of course he built it. He deserved it. Like, let, I ain't even gonna go there. Let me check myself at the door on that one. Um, but more so, uh, like, how do y'all feel about the whole apology? Honestly, I feel like, you know, as a man, you feel me? If he felt as, as if he was wrong and he should apologize, that's on him. At, at the end of the day, he the one that got to sleep with his decisions at night. Um, as far as when it came down to his, him and his company and the business aspect of it, yeah, I, I feel like if, get that man his company, you feel me, y'all don't, don't necessarily have to blackball a man or anything like that, not accusing them of blackballing him or not saying that they're going to blackball him, but just saying just in general, uh, if y'all want to cut complete ties with him, uh, y'all could just go ahead and cut complete ties with him and let him get, um, ownership or either, you know, all, ownership of his uh you know full ownership of his company but in a business sense that i understand that there does have to be a trade in value so i feel like they can come to some type of agreement even if there is a buyback because you know a stock market companies do buy back of shares all the time so if they allow him to buy back his shares in some type of agreement like all right well we'll cut ties with you and give you back your shares you feel me and walk away clean <clears throat> and a lot of men you know finish finish building what he has started 
You feel me? Because it, it's bigger than just him. Uh, that's a big, a big key, a uh, key in the black culture and the black community. And a lot of these uh, corporations, they take an oath uh, to basically say that they're going to assist and and basically help innovate and bring about uh, new technology products and services that can you know better advance our cultures and communities. Uh, and shoot, Nick Cannon did that, man. So let that man go, let that man be, and let him, you know, take full ownership if that's the route he's want to take. Now they are saying, there are accusations saying that he is trying to, um, you know, go back to Viacom CBS and try to, you know, um, re reconcile their relationship. And if that is the case, you know, uh, that's between them two parties. Um, man, but that's currently what's going on in the media with Nick Cannon, man, and he recently just lost a friend, you know, so I know he's going through a lot of stress and just a lot of, just, he just got a lot of, a lot of spotlight, a lot of, you know, just a lot of energy on him, and man, in times like this, man, it's, man, it's, it's, it's real key about who you got around you, man, your circle, man, for real, for real, the individuals that you got in your ear, because right now, you know, due to social media, man, the world is coming at him in so many different ways. Because he did, because it is being brought about that he came at a whole different, you know, culture and race of people. That you got so many, so many different mixed uh, views and opinions. You feel me being brought upon uh, him, but it's kind of like the same door you open when you, you know, us being these individuals with these platforms. Sometimes it'd be kind of hard. To uh to realize where we are we we human you feel me we may we gonna say how we feel and things of that nature but at the same time other individuals are human too and because we have this platform you reach so many different humans where some of them might have similar like minded opinions that go against yours you feel me and some of them are in certain positions where those opinions hold a certain type of weight. And I, when I say that, it was like, you know, understanding that, like, we're saying those statements that, you know, via common individuals like that might not approve of that. So, you know, just, I feel like this is something that I feel like all entertainers and just business owners, those that are are uh, creating these shows and stuff like that and selling off their ideas, understand what comes with that. You feel me? Like, Steve Jobs got fired from his own company. It's numerous it's numerous founders of companies that have been let go and founders of brands that have been removed by the board of the corporation just do out of the best, uh, they're thinking in their best interest of, you know, shareholders or just dollars or just, you know, just public image. Um, even though you may have built the company and things of that nature. Uh, even, you know, I know that this is a, this is a, a race and culture thing, but at the same time, uh, I feel like this is also a business, a business note that a lot of individuals should uh, should really be taking. It, um, especially if you are a producer, uh, a writer, anything of that nature, you're an inter you're an entertainer. Understanding how these things work, because one thing that I feel like a lot of individuals are not considering is, man, they kind of take care of a lot of individuals. He put a lot of uh, a lot of uh, comedians and just man. People behind the scene that you probably don't even know in certain positions that were eating off of that wild and now that was eating off of these different shows and things like that. And because of this one move, it could affect them as well. But even if it, uh, you, you, you know, but even if it, you are going to still make them type of moves, it's, you know, um, man, it's like understanding also too when he he's in a position where he got to um, he, he got to go talk to them about getting. Uh, full rights or full ownership. I don't know, so I won't speak on it too much because I don't know the actual contract that he got. But it's just that, you know, um, that you will have to go through certain processes like that if you don't have full ownership or uh, full ownership or rights of your company, having to get that back. Because I don't know if that would slow him down from being able to switch while and out from, a, from one uh, network to another network or what. But... Right now, uh, it's claims or accusations being made that he wants full ownership, which saying that he, you know, he, he currently doesn't, which you know is typical in that type of sense. They ain't gonna put up the money, the marketing dollars, and you know stuff like that without getting some retaining some type of equity within the company. But if it was enough equity for them to control the decision making, um, you know, like basically like, like decision making power. You feel me? That's what was like, you know, like, dang, you feel me? I, I wish she could have, you know, kept control of that where she is still control 
of you know like basically like he still got you know control of the decision making like operations of the company well operation decisions type deal of the company so you know but that's neither here nor there i want to get your opinion man how y'all feel about the whole nick cannon situation man do y'all feel like he should apologize or shouldn't apologize uh do y'all feel like you feel me he deserves to have full control of while and out I just want to know what y'all opinion is. It's your boy Bash. Y'all tuning in the ends podcast. But before we tune out, man, go ahead, like, share, subscribe. That's the free support that you can do. But we trying to open up this story. We need y'all support, baby. So if y'all could go ahead and become a patron, you know, a paid member to the uh, podcast, or y'all could shop with us against some physical return. When you become a patron to certain levels, you get free services and free merch sent to you monthly. I'm talking about sunglasses, shirts, hats, man, book bags, stickers, decals for your cars. But if you ain't even looking for all that, you ain't trying to do no month to month or nothing like that, man, you want to buy a shirt or something, man, to show your support, go to www.eating, D, I mean, the letter N, D A S T R E E T S dot com. This eating in the streets dot com. WW dot at the beginning. Can't forget that bass part, baby. But it's your boy Bass. I'm tuning out. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. And don't forget to sign up and become a paid member and a patron, man. We need all that. Like I said, we about to become uh, a store owner, man. We're going to stand on that, man. Before this year over with, uh, by this time next summer, man, we're going to have a full thriving store where you're going to be able to come shop with us, man. Come stop in and come visit us in Detroit, man. But it's your boy Bass. Thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, I'm tuning out.